hi guys most welcome to my youtube channel in case you're new here kindly just subscribe to this channel kindly also don't forget to like this video so today we are going to change these crocs into something else decorated crocs and we're going to make a lot of profit with this so make sure that you have covered wherever you're going to use it because the glue is usually very sticky and it can spoil everything around you right so the first thing i'm going to use is beads as i've shown you those are beads then the chains so these are chains i usually get them uh one meter at just a hundred shillings so i've sliced it is it slicing or dividing it yeah so also get these decorators at dubois dubois yeah so you just visit any bridal shop along dubois you can also go to river road and you'll get these ones they also that pack is usually goes for 200 shillings so it has gold and it has silver so i just wanted to show you how it looks like that's how it looks like yeah so that's also what i'm going to use usually put them in a small um plastic bowl like that i'll also use this one it also goes for from 50 shillings to above these are spikes they are called spikes so when you go to these bridal shops just make sure you're getting any decorator of your choice that can actually help you to decorate the crocs so this is the chain it's, it usually comes as one meter and above it goes for a hundred shillings yeah so it looks like that yeah i'm also going to use glitters glitters goes for 30 shillings i know most of you know these glitters actually the, we used to use them um in air in uh, 1990s i guess during the wedding so these are all decorators that i'm going to use you can always get them any of your choice they have so many there is a shop that is called jonesy jonesy is at river road just past um dubois on your way to what do we call it on your way to ngara yeah this is called a fish line actually it's very important while making these shoes because it will help you a lot actually this is what i use a lot and a packet of it usually has three ties and it goes for 50 shillings this is the glue that i use you see the, the ones that chokoras use to to i don't know what they used to to do with it so that is the glue that i'm using for those people who have been asking oh what the, what's the glue that you use that's the glue that i usually use so these are the crocs that i'm going to to make and make sure that the holes are visible because for some crocs these holes are usually closed like this one you see so you use your scissors so scissors is usually very important in this process so use your scissors to 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 make the holes visible like that yeah so that you'll not have the hard time while using it so the first thing i'm going to do is to cut the fish line actually this is very new it's the piece that i i had um opened and i remained with just one tie like that so i'm just removing the tape that is usually uh, used to tie it like that yeah I'm just removing the so just be patient with me because the process will be so long the video is going to be very very long yeah so just be patient with me just grab your seat and learn because this process will make you a lot of money actually so if this is the side hustle that you have been looking for then you are at the right place yeah so you're going to just cut very small pieces just don't mind my background noise that is my baby she usually needs my attention whenever i do a video yeah so i've i'm going to use it to tie this um on the crocs like that so the first one didn't go so well because i tied it in the inner part so don't mind the first one i'll show you how to tie it on the outer part so i'm going to use the fish line to go through the holes of the chain like that and tie it so this fish line is usually very strong very strong so even if you wash the crocs with the with a very um rough brush actually they'll not run off the shoes so i'm just tying it very tightly that's why i'm using my teeth sorry for my teeth 
they'll also work with me because uh, my mouth wants to eat so it also has to work and talk <laughs> anyway i'm just entertaining you guys so um i'm tying inside the inner way but this is hard to tie it in the inner part but with the other one i'll show you how to tie to tie the the, the fish line on the outer part so don't mind this process the, the first process with the first shoes because i did it in the inner part and that's why it was difficult so don't think that if this is difficult it's not it's actually very easy very very easy this process can actually take just to make one crock can just take you just like five minutes six to five minutes yeah but i'm actually slow so that you can learn i'm hoping my ring light is visible enough because it's actually at night i made this video at night i'm just voice overing it in the morning because if i don't uh yeah yeah so like that you cut it like that then you 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 put the the part that you have tied in the inner part you're getting yeah like that so simple so that's the first step but this one i showed it i showed it to you the longer way so let's just be keen on the second one because i tied it on the outer part so the first step is to put the fish line inside like that then tie it make sure you are tying it very tightly very very tightly like that i'm really using my teeth because i want it to be so tight then the the longer part that is there you can always remove it so that when someone weighs where wears it the english is not englishing and i must talk in english because of the people who are outside kenya because they don't have fans out there and i'm really appreciating you so just be keen you see i've put it in the inside and uh, outside like that then i'm tying it so that it can be so easy for you guys then you just tie make sure your knot is so tight you can even repeat the way i'm doing repeat it like that Yeah, so this this type of crocs are actually are called the beaded type because there are others. I don't know what they are called, but this is top collections. Actually, if you you meet people with this, I have never seen people doing this beaded type before. I've seen others decorating yes with beads, but not with fish line. They just use glue and put them outside the crocs but i'm doing it the inner way so that i'll give you the frequent way of washing them yeah so that's how it ended up looking like for the first step so the second one is going to bead it i'm going to bead it so i'm going to cut a longer longer piece of um the fish line like that guys if you're watching me and my English is so poor at the moment. Just know that today my English is not Englishing at all. So I'm going to use uh, this fish line and put the beads inside. I'll use three because this is a small size of bead. It's size 16. The beads usually have sizes. This is size 16. So when you want to go and purchase this ones, I usually purchase size 16 and size 20. For size 20, I'll use it to close just with one bead to close the holes with just one bead but with small size 16 i'll use three so we are going to cover all these uh holes in these crocs like this so you put it inside like that then like that then on the other hole like that make sure this is in pattern with that uh, any uh desire choice of patterns or designs oh my baby is actually making a lot of noise this is so hard for me so like that i've tied is it pulling or pushing either way like that you make sure it's so tight make sure it's very tight like that just don't mind my mommy pot is it mommy pot or mommy porch <laughs> it's so big i just had my breakfast and i'm sitting so don't mind yeah so we'll continue with the process 
you move from one hole to another and you do it in the outer way the way i'm doing it right yeah so we are going to cover all these holes and these crocs like that then i'll insert in the other hole like that and remove it on the other hole so your hand is your hands will always be inside make sure you're tying it so hard like that okay then I'm, i'll take another i'm using three because one of them can't um can't close the hole so i'll have to use three so that it will move to the other part and the other and the other Yeah, so don't mind the process is actually very long, I know, because I'm doing it slowly so that you guys can learn. So it usually takes me from 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening to make at least 50 pairs of crocs, and I usually do it. I get an order in the morning, I, I go to the market, actually by, by around 7, I'm usually off the market coming home. I just take tea, sit down, and I'll do the work until evening. And I'll always make sure I'm making a bell. A bell goes for 17500 for small crocs for the kids. Yeah, for adults, I usually sell them at 25 or 23 depending. Because there are those crocs that are usually decorated already with not with beads but colors. I know you guys know them. So those ones are usually very expensive. Yeah. So that's how you go about it. That's how you go about it. Yeah, so I'll still continue putting um the fish line inside make sure you're covering the the holes and make sure you're tying it so hard you're getting yeah so this is the part that i'm done and i'm going just to tie it guys don't mind my background noise i'm telling you my baby today just woke up with another energy <laughs> yeah so like that I'm going to tie it like that and make it so tight. So I'm done with the beading part. So we're going to decorate the other part also. So the beading part is done. You can see? So no matter how hard you're going to wash these crocs, the beads will never come out. Yeah, so I'm going to choose any of the decorators to use. This is the glue that I'm going to use and just be keen on this one because it will actually help you so much. So we'll measure the part that will um, the decorator will apply and cut it off like that. Because you're making you're going to make a lot of money reselling this type of crocs. And you can do it now that people don't have any idea about it. But when many of um many other people learn and start doing it the market will be off you know guys that if you you see any niche around you just do it because if you don't someone else will do and it will become so popular that the price will go down and this glue is usually very sticky so make sure it doesn't touch any any part of your skin because oh my god and the other disadvantage about this glue is that it, it is not good for your health. So if you're using it, just make sure you're covering it up because it's not good for your health, you see. So that's how I've decorated it. And I'm going to use these glitters to cover up the part of the glue that is going to show up. So I'll just sprinkle the glue outside that, uh, sprinkle the decorators the glitters <laughs> outside the gl the glue yeah then i'll blow the the other part away like that then i'll 
I'll choose what to use next. So you just play with these decorators. It's not specifically you use what I'm using, but you can always get a lot of them. Actually, these people sell variety of these decorators. You can always get them anyhow that you want, any that you want, any of your choice. They usually have a lot, a lot of decorators. So just go there. They are called John C. It's the, 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 the building of the business is called John C. If you are at Odeon, just ask about um, John C. They are opposite. If you know where KCB is at Odeon, if you know where KCB is and Best Lady. KCB is actually next to Best Lady. So the shop is opposite. Opposite, right? Yeah. So this is why uh, how I'm going to decorate it. My kid is actually making a lot of noise, so I'm just having to change my location. So that's how you go about it. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to do small pieces because I don't want to over decorate it. And let's see the final result, the, the final results, how it's going to look like. So I've used the bigger one there. Because someone can uh, wear the crocs and put this part on the back. So I'll use something that with at least, um, yeah. So I'm going to, to slice this into small parts, to divide it into small parts like that. Because I don't want to over decorate the shoes also, because some people don't like uh, them being over decorated. But there are those people who tell you that just add a lot of decorators. Yeah. So I'll just put it into small pieces like that. Then I'll use my glue and put it to the desire of my design. So this is just my design. It just comes from your head. It just flows. <laughs> yeah, so I've never seen someone doing this. I just came up with the idea. I saw a Nigerian video of someone who was using glue to decorate them. And you, you guys have come across the video maybe on TikTok. And um, I decided to do something different because actually the the glue she was using and all those, I really don't know where she got them from. So I just woke up in the morning and decided, I know the boys, I'll just get anything for beauty. And I went there for two days and I decided to just do window shopping and see where I can get these things. And this is what I ended up getting. I went to Kamokonji and uh, consulted about how much crocs are. Then uh, that whole week, I just sat down and decided, um, let's see if I do this and this, uh, how much will decorators cost? How much will the crocs cost? And if I'm just going to, to devote all my time to this thing, how much will I get? And I actually saw that it's worth it. I decided by selling pieces, pieces, pieces. And then I decided I'm not going to sell any piece at all. So I'm just doing wholesale. So I always get orders for those people who want to resell them. I do 50 pieces per day. If I get an order, I can even do um, 70 pieces. But actually, I get so tired because... If I start doing 50 pieces a day, it usually ends up, I wake up very early in the morning and I'll do it from uh, maybe uh, 6 in the morning, very early, very early 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening. That's when my order for 50 pairs will end. And I usually make that maybe for kids. For kids, it's usually very easy because for a bell of um 50 pieces for kids it usually goes for 17,500 and if it's for adults it's roughly around 25 23 to 25 depending because it will depend with the decorators of your choice just see how that crock turned into so even if you want yours, you can always just buy and decorate for yourself. If it's so hard, you can just try two. Then if it works, you can try three. I started with 10, 20, 30. So a pair of shoes usually takes at least five minutes for me to complete it. You see? So I turned this into this. You can also turn that into that. And let's see the end result of everything. See, guys? See, 
these crocs are simple to make actually very very simple so if you're looking forward to do this be my guest welcome and do it let's make money you can always uh, charge whatever you want that was my price for today and you can always charge any way you want depending on how you have decorated it so this is dop vlogs designs you can always make yours you can always make like dops i don't mind as long as we are earning because my channel is all about earning bye